African entrepreneurs are creating innovations that help farmers improve their yields. In Ghana, Sesi Technologies, the company behind GrainMate, allows farmers and grain purchasers to affordably measure moisture levels of maize, rice, wheat, millet, sorghum, and other staples. Africa 54 technology correspondent Paul Ndio spoke to Isaac Sesi, the CEO of Sesi Technologies. Isaac Sisi, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you very much, Paul. You built uh, an incredible uh, technology that has helped a lot of farmers across uh, Ghana and uh, across Africa uh, to figure out how to manage uh, their yields, uh, to manage their crops. Uh, let's start there. Yes, we built a technology to help reduce post-harvest losses in grains among farmers. And this technology is called Grain Mate, Grain Moisture Meter, which is a simple moisture meter that makes it possible for anyone that works with grains to measure the moisture content in their grains before storage so they can um, reduce losses. You know, just being able to know the moisture content in your grains can be the difference between your grains growing moldy and you losing all of your harvest and you being able to store for long and reap the benefits of storing for long. Why agriculture? There are so many other places that you could have gone, but uh, you chose to go into agriculture. Both my parents are farmers. You know, I have been close to the food value chain. I've been really excited about being able to grow things in the soil and see it come up. And I have also been in the in the space of seeing farmers work so hard and just something small takes away all of their produce and then the hardship that results from from uh, from that that happening and so I realized that one of the ways I could Im apply my knowledge and my skills in technology in a way that was fundamental to uh, human beings is in the field of agriculture because every one of us eats and uh, half of the continent is employed in agriculture which means that if you're solving problems in agriculture you can reach so many people and you can impact lives at a very fundamental level have you been able to scale beyond uh, ghana already we have partners that we're working with in in kenya in zimbabwe in rwanda and in nigeria that are, are, that are going to be our partners to scale this technology in these countries already. We have units that are in use in Zimbabwe, in Kenya, and in Rwanda. When I've talked to a lot of uh, farmers, uh, either small-scale farmers or commercial farmers, uh, how has uh, your technology helped them improve their products or get better yields at the end of a harvest season? It's true that smallholder farmers actually face a lot of challenges. In fact, it was something that we learned while working with the World Food Program for over a period of one year. So we came back and then we said, what can we do to solve more problems? Because we realized that we could only make the maximum impact if we're providing a holistic solution. And then we developed a suite of post service management technologies that uh, really helps them right from the drying, threshing, um, storage, even to the point of marketing. And we've, we've put all this together in a package called Farmer Pack, um, which we are delivering to the farmers. So we have been able to sort of solve a lot of their problems. And the exciting thing is that we're presenting this solution in a way that they can pay for us. Are you looking for potential investors from maybe... Uh, people who are looking at your product and they're saying we want to be part of this? So we're looking for investors. We're looking to raise half a million dollars to scale our production, to scale our product development and um, our marketing and distribution. Where We've been actively reaching out to investors and our doors are also open for anybody who believes that we can partner to create value for everybody involved. Well, uh, thank you so much uh, for your time. Thank you so much.